Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is going to be the first hockey video of the season. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, comment below and like and subscribe or subscribe up top at the widget at the end of the video. Appreciate your support. This is going to be an Anaheim Ducks season preview. First and foremost, of course, the Ducks are led by one of the best goalies in the entire league. Sure, his numbers might not be up there with the big kahunas like the Vasileskis and Hellbucks of the world. But that's also because the Ducks also have not been um, what those teams are for those other goaltenders as well. So that has an effect. But as far as I'm concerned, he's still really arguably a top three goaltender. I'm a definitely, excuse me, a top five goaltender in this league still. And they're also manned by a former Philadelphia Flyers prospect, a goalie I always liked, Anthony Stellars, the big boy in net who can really play on both sides of the net very well did good last season seems to be emerging more and more as he stays more healthy the Ducks brought back in Derek Grant who is really good there has good chemistry they got Josh Muhara on defense as an extra man you obviously got Drysdale as young players veteran Com Fowler who's been there for a while Hoppus Lindholm great defenseman Shattenkirk you hope obviously bounces back Josh Manson you got there is a very good big boy back there and then Jacob Larson the thing about this Ducks team is, obviously, when you have John Gibson in net, you're always going to be relevant, even though you're a rebuilding team. Um, they have them in pro hockey, um, or in the hockey news, excuse me. They have them as seventh in the specific, which is probably really a realistic spot to put them in. Because the Ducks team's not there yet, but they have all these fun youngsters to watch. And even though they're not there yet, they're going to be competitive because you have a good backup goalie in Anthony Stolarz, who seems to be getting better each year, Stoli the goalie. You have John Gibson, who again is at least a top five goaltender, if not a top three still. So you got very good stuff there. You got Lindholm, who's good on defense. Fowler, Manson is better. You got Larson, who's good as a youngster. Drysdale, who's going to be a beast. You got... Um, Shattenkirk, who you hope bounces back, but if he doesn't, you still got Muahara, who has some potential there as well. Um, plus, you also got Jackson Lacombe on defense. It's going to be um, developing as long as, as, as well as Alan uh, Zellwelber as well. So you have a few different people there that are going to keep developing for the Ducks. But when it comes to big guys, you obviously, one of the most exciting players to watch, a guy that could win the Rookie of the Year, um, potentially, um, is going to be Trevor Zegras. Zegras is going to be a 20-year-old. He's playing his first full season, only played in 24 last year. He's going to be very interesting to watch. They still got Getzlaff there to be able to teach him one of the best centers um, of our time that he's going to be able to learn from. Not the same players he used to be, but that doesn't matter. He's still a great veteran, still a great leader, and that's exactly what he's going to do. They brought in Sonny Milano. Uh, he didn't um, completely do what they wanted him to do since bringing him in, but he's still a young player, just entering his prime years at 25. Troy Terry's just starting to enter his prime years at 24. Comtois is only 22. Raquel's a great veteran player. Max Jones is only 23. Ludestrom is only 21. Uh, Steele is only 23, so this team has a lot of great young talent that is going to keep getting better and better each year, combined with the Silverbergs of the world, the Adam Henrichs of the world, um, the Nicholas Delu De ah, ah, Nick DeLauriers of the world, and then the Raquel's Comtois um, youngsters um, like Zegras and Comtois that mix in with those Raquel other veterans as well. So I think this team's got a good mix to be able to really build a good culture there and a good first found a good foundation for the future, I should say. But they're still a little bit away. This team's probably about two years away from really contending, where next year's probably the year you're going to really see them maybe be the surprise team like the San Francisco Giants de facto of uh, hockey. But could they surprise in terms of being better and more maybe a little bit better than where this projection is and maybe one slot up in the standing or a team that is a little bit closer to the 500 mark than most projections have. Yeah, I think they could because, again, you're led by two very good goalies. You've got one of the best in the league in Gibson. Stowe keeps getting better. You've got a great young defense. Say those guys come together. Even if Shattenkirk doesn't do well, say um, Mahar is able to step in and play really well. Say Terry really comes into his own along with Comtross and Jones this year. You know which I think you already know, honestly, because Zegers is just a beast on 
on the ice. He's going to get better and better at scoring along with the playmaking he showcased last year, each year. So I think you already know you're going to get greatness from him. So you got a good team. It just seems like it's a year or two out. But they're going to be a fun team to watch with a bunch of great youngsters this year. I definitely look for the Ducks to show improvement. And I'm definitely going to be watching that team. And hope to maybe get Deli, Anthony Ciardelli, on the podcast again before the season starts to see what his thoughts are on the Ducks. But I definitely think good things in terms of progression. I don't think this team's going to make the playoffs, obviously. But good team things in terms of hockey progression is going to happen for this Ducks team. And they're going to show some progress this year as these young guys improve and get better. And in turn, that's going to make John Gibson look more like a top three goaltender again rather than a five to seven, which I think is really dissing him at times, especially when you call him more of a six, seven. Like some people do just because when you're not as sexy of a team lately, obviously that'll have some effect on the goaltender. Again, they got Grant, they got a veteran that's been up there in the AHL, NHL, Karak. And then they also have Mohara. So this team does if they have injuries have a couple people at forward and the one guy Mahara on defense as well so I think this team is in a pretty good spot this year to be coming into the season also obviously when it comes to developing youngsters a kid to watch out for is going to be youngster Mason McTavish and Jakob Puro so I think this team's got good prospects for the future as well as they also have some good guys in their prospect pool that are just still trying to prove themselves as the youngsters I mentioned in this video. So they're going to be a fun team that I would definitely be paying attention to this year. I think you're going to see some good things from your Ducks this year, Ducks fans. They're just not going to be a playoff team, but be an improving team. So I hope you all enjoyed this season preview to the Anaheim Ducks. Have a great, safe, and pleasant night, everybody. The hockey season is upon us. It's only days away now. And I hope everybody enjoys it. Stay safe out there. Peace out, everybody. And always comment and like, subscribe down below if you want to do it there or on the widget up above. Appreciate your support. Peace out, everybody, and go Ducks.